Hey, happy Warren Cliff Wednesday, YouTube. This is Jason from the Brass Brigade. So, uh, just dropped the daughter off. Wanted to do a quick one before I go and do some tattoos. So, anyways, this is the Beztech Malware. And uh, Todd Knife and Tool Company, they are the designers, right? Um, they have Beztech made this knife, right? They also have, we do a couple of their knives. And, uh, and then I think they do some customs as well. But anyways, this is made by Beztech right so check this out when i bought this i paid like 230 240 for it it is now right around 200 bucks right and for that 200 bucks you get the knife obviously right cool little case microfiber uh cloth in there so anyways check it out this knife is sick so this is like your ideal going to dinner with the old lady in a bad neighborhood knife right or, or going to some sort of semi-formal event, right? Where you want to keep it classy, but you want to, you, you know, if you have to get a little wicked, you can do that too, right? So check it out. This thing has S35VN blade steel, right? This thing runs on bearings. Um, great action, right? So this thing has all the sweet, like, you know, opening methods, right? You can spidey flick it, right? You can use your flipper tab. Oops, my bad. Uh, thumb hole, if that's your thing. I don't really like doing the thumb thing. I like that better. Anyways, um, all titanium construction, right? Titanium pocket clip. Check out the backspacer. Watch this. This backspacer is sick. You can see through it. How sweet is that? Look at the fully milled pocket clip, right? You have a nice lock bar uh, insert with an over-travel uh, chingadera in there, right? You got milled scales, right, for weight reduction. I don't know how well you're gonna see this. Sorry, guys. Anyways, trust me, they are in there. So you can see them on the bottom there a little bit, right? Cool little knife, right? Little front finger trial, if you choose so to use that, right? Nice aggressive jimping, right? Let you know where your thumb is. Cool little cutout, right, for if you use the flipper tab, your finger has somewhere to go, right? Um, yeah sick so check it out uh this knife is approximately nine inches long a little bit less than nine inches it has a blade length of about four and it has a sharpening area of about three and three quarter inches right check out the coating on the blade so this is one thing i really like about beztex uh coatings they use especially this like battle worn sort of black wash coating it doesn't show fingerprints like hardly at all it really doesn't and so if it has a hard time showing fingerprints it's gonna freaking come in handy when you start hard using this bad boy and it's gonna show you know everyday wear a little bit less right because it's already has has that sort of battle worn feel to it cool little pivot right pretty comfortable it really is for being such a slim skinny knife it really is comfortable i have more than a full grip on this i could probably fit another finger and a half on there if i wanted to right again runs on bearings the action's really smooth right this this knife weighs under four ounces i think it's like 3.6 something but under four uh, again great action right Again, look at the freaking wash on the blade. And believe me, I, did, I didn't clean this off before I came out here to do this, right? This is just, just woke up like this. You know what I'm saying, bro? Right? Doesn't have a, a deep carry pocket clip, but I don't really care if they do, right? Pretty sure you're not holding the pager. Anyways, so uh, check it out. On the uh, Brass Brigade's scoring system of a possible... 40 points, the Beztech malware got a 36. So, comfort carry, right? It got a uh, 9. Um, build finish, a 9. I mean, this thing is dope. Like, there's really nothing to complain about. I mean, it. I judge every knife on what they're supposed to be intended for, right? Like, this, I don't think they intended this knife to be the most comfortable knife on the planet, right? However, it is pretty freaking comfortable for how freaking space age alien motherfucking HR Geiger this thing looks, right? So comfort carry got a nine, right? Super functional clip, right? Everything's good to go. Build finish, nine, price value, well, definitely a nine. I paid 240 for this and didn't regret that one minute. 
Now it's 200 bucks? Yeah, that's a nine too. And cool factor, this thing for sure gets a nine, right? This is a badass knife. Every time I brought this thing to the tattoo shop, anyone that sees this or asks to look at, hey Jay, what knife you got today? And I show them this, they're like, dude, that thing is wicked. And it really is. The perfect going out on a date knife in a bad neighborhood, right? Oh, here, real quick, let's do a little size comparison. Let's get our little Sharpie out, right? So this knife is pretty much as wide as a Sharpie is thick. I mean, almost identical, right? Let's bump that out there a little bit more. So a Sharpie is about three quarters of an inch longer than this knife. So if you got a Sharpie laying around, check it out. You can see how big this is for yourself, right? So anyways, that's all I got, man. Todd Knife and Tool, really good designer. I have a couple other knives I'm gonna be reviewing of uh, theirs. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it, it's a quick one, man. Stay safe, shoot straight, and uh, see you next time. Yeah, yeah.